how do you get more people to buy local? Well, you can tell people to buy local, and that's great. Except that they buy local and then what? So we're the and then what? So you buy local and then you know what to do with it. And as you're doing that, you're learning how important it is. And you're learning how much better it feels. And you're learning how much more you're connecting with your family. And so the movement grows. We really do believe that supporting the local farmers and building a more robust local food system will then make it much more accessible to the underserved. We're approaching hunger and poverty and diabetes and the public health aspect from a very market-driven perspective. We're teaching the people that have the time, have the resources to go to the farmer's market. They, in turn, will start making that a habit. That will drive the demand. That will drive the supply. And then all of a sudden, you have a shift in the system. Haven's Kitchen is really three prongs of business. There's the retail space, which sells coffee and lunch and very sort of specifically curated local products. The second prong is the cooking school, which is really to us the heart of what we're doing here. do with this is I'll always reserve a little bit of my garnish for top dressing my salad so you can see the olive oil is just going to really smooth it out and give it a nice richness and that's kind of what we're looking for in the soup. Up here we get to teach what we do in professional kitchens to home cooks and what might make it easier or faster or more approachable so that they'll actually go to the green market after work and then go home and cook themselves a meal or cook their friends and their family a meal and it's not this big daunting thing that has to be about cookbooks and all these mini steps and all these tools that you have to buy. At the end of a cooking class, we gather around the farm table and to eat the meal that they've cooked. People tend to really gain something from just being in the kitchen, cooking together, and then sitting down and eating with one another because I think it's something that we don't get to do all that often. The third prong of the business is the private events. Guests can have cocktail parties, bridal showers, sit-down dinners, everything in this space. And we just opened our third floor space, which is perfect for weddings and big events for up to 125 guests. I do think that people can feel that we like to be here, we like each other, we believe in what we're doing. I think every single person that works here genuinely feels the desire and the impulse to take care of other people. You do feel like you're, you're in a house and you feel like you're a part of this very special little world.